Love me when I'm down, baby, tell me how you feel cause I don't got shit Plotting on a million for a house, don't need a mansion But what if I go broke, all that love is gonna be gone Like it never happened, play me like a dummy all along, yeah When I move right, don't you hit me up, I got the move right New boot tripping, said I'm really just a new type I don't got a circle, my real ones up in the moonlight Really antisocial, like a druggie with a new pipe Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me I go by Eva, and today I'm bringing you my review of the Sony A7C, which I have been using for the majority of this year. Now, for those that don't know, I actually was using a Sony A6300, which my previous video is all about. I ended up purchasing a Blackmagic Pocket 4K, and I used it for a few months just to realize that it was not the camera for me. So I had to get back to a Sony system more or less just for the autofocus i think that was the big reason i had to move off of my black magic pocket 4k because the images that come out of that are insane if you guys are looking for a cinema camera definitely consider black magic they're crazy for the price i think people really overlook them because people get all crazy over the red branding but that's that's gonna have to be a whole other video go ahead and comment if you guys want to see that but back to the sony a7c i'm just gonna come out and say it if you guys are looking to get into full frame, but not ready to spend all that crazy money on like an A7S III or something like that, go ahead and either get a A7C like I have or a A7 III. For those of you that don't know, the Sony A7C is just like a miniaturized A7 III. The Sony A7C is almost the same size as my crop sensor camera, which is crazy because a lot of people they see me with this tiny little camera with my tiny little uh, Zeiss 56 millimeter on it and they don't even realize like this is a full frame camera and the images that it pulls are insane because it's full frame. If you've never used a full frame camera before, the, the bokeh is crazy. Like even on F4, I'm going to show some video right now. Even on F4, if you have like a good background, it looks really blurry and nice. And then because you're on F4, you don't lose focus. That's one of my favorite things that I like about this camera. And moving along, one of the big things that I actually love this camera for, especially compared to the A6300 that I used to be using, and even the Blackmagic, both of those cameras had terrible battery life. But the A7C, it lasts hours now. I only carry one spare battery, and I don't think I've ever had to pull it out on a shoot, except for maybe if I had um, forgotten to charge the camera at 100% the night before that's the only time i've had to use my spare battery but other than that i've never run out of battery on a shoot and sometimes i'm out for you know six plus hours filming at once depending if it's like a live show so batteries two thumbs up for me so let me go ahead and talk about the lenses now the lens that's on this camera right here is actually the sony zeiss 55 millimeter f 1.8 and i was between this lens and the actual 55 50 millimeter and I actually ended up picking the 55 because I figured you know it's a little longer it'll be ever so slightly more flattering to faces and then an even bigger reason why I picked it is actually because the 55 millimeter lens is smaller it's physically smaller than the 50 millimeter version and if you know me I like having a tiny little setup I'm not one of those guys on YouTube that's like, oh, you got to kit out your camera. You got to, you know, you got to get a cage. You got to get a screen. You got to get extra battery packs. Have a big old thing like that. That's not me. I like having the least amount of equipment I can. I don't want to carry all that many things, especially because for the most part, I'm a solo shooter. So I really just got my camera, ND filters, batteries, all that kind of things in a really small backpack. And then I have my gimbal if it's a shoot that I think I need my gimbal for. But that's typically all I like to bring around. Um, so this lens is perfect for that. And then the F1.8 is absolutely insane, matched up with the A7C. The autofocus is crazy. I'm gonna try to put some footage on screen right now of what the F1.8 looks like with continuous autofocus and Hopefully you guys are just as surprised as I was because I was shocked that it could actually like lock onto an eye at f1.8 
with that much movement and not have any issues at all. If I didn't already say before, I think I'm going to say now. <laughs> the reason I'm not showing you guys the camera and everything in my hands is because I'm filming it right now. I, I literally do not want to film with any of the other cameras that I own right here. I'm not going to take out my a 6300 to shoot this. I'm not going to take out the Blackmagic. It's just too much trouble. That's why I like this camera so much. For those of you that watched my previous video on the a6300, I loved my Sigma lenses. So I knew like, ah, I need to get a Sigma lens when I buy my a7C, right? Because it's going to be full frame. I need to upgrade the lenses. Speaking of which, they're hella expensive. Anyways, Sigma 24 to 70. Um, really versatile. I think I use this more for photography than I do videography. For video. But this 24 to 70, it's really useful, multi-purpose. Um, it's a little too big for the gimbal I currently own, so you won't see any stabilized shots with this lens. A little too big is kind of an understatement. This thing is actually massive. But I was actually pleasantly surprised by how sharp it is too. Um, typically, you don't expect a zoom lens to be as sharp as a prime, but Sigma does an insane job. Um, I can't recommend Sigma enough. They're pretty good bang for the buck. So in this case, I do recommend a 24 to 70 if you're looking for a pretty multi-purpose zoom lens. Um, if you're looking for prime, obviously I am only experienced with the 55, but because you're at full frame, I do recommend you own a 50 millimeter lens. That's just like your multi-purpose lens. If you're not sure what to get, I say just get a 50 millimeter prime. I got the 55 because it's smaller, but if you want like that, standard issue can't go wrong image just get the 50 millimeter so this sony a7c it actually films video very similarly to my a6300 which is one big reason i liked it but also one big reason why i can see why people might want to jump up to the a7s3 because the a7c maxes out at 4k 30 frames per second and if you want to go into the high frame rates like my a6300 you're gonna have to drop down to 1080p but the good thing is that you can actually do 120 frames per second 1080p video. If you guys have not tried filming in 120 FPS, um, I recommend trying it out. It's, it's pretty fun. I'm, I'll throw something up, up on the screen. Anyways, go ahead and take a look at some of the video I've taken. Um, I'm, I've been really impressed with the image it pulls. I'm really happy with the lenses. I thought I was going to have a hard time being impressed by a camera after how sharp I was getting on my a6 to 300 footage with those Sigma primes. But of course, those were crop. That's a crop camera with crop lenses. But now if you go ahead and look at some of the stuff I took with the a7C, you'll see why I'm impressed. Um, the colors, the sharpness and the autofocus. I cannot speak highly enough about the autofocus on this camera it's like a godsend that's why i can't go back <laughs> i really um as much as i like that black magic pocket um i i don't know a lot of situations run and gun situations that i would ever take it out like i don't think it'd be very handy for like a live shoot or anything like that so like i said the autofocus is insane it's gonna find an eye and lock on anytime you have pressed that shutter button and one of my favorite things about this camera, I don't know if other cameras have done it. This is the first time I see it. When I'm in manual focus mode, I can still half press the shutter button to auto focus lock. For example, if you're out of focus and you have a person standing in front of you, instead of pulling the wheel to try to lock onto their eye, you can just half press the shutter button and it'll auto lock onto their eye but it'll continue being in manual focus. And that actually makes focus pulling really easy, even in manual mode on this camera. So it'll actually use the autofocus to help you speed up the manual focusing process, which I really enjoy. Now I have done some photography on this. I'm gonna show some of it right here. And again, I'm really happy with the overall image. Full frame has actually been a lot more entertaining and amusing to me than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a difference, but the focal lengths, like, they just look very different because it's a different image sensor, which now makes me curious as to what using like a medium format camera would be like. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Overall, I do recommend the Sony a7C. If you want to save a little bit of money though, I would actually go ahead and purchase the a7 III. It's 
pretty much the same camera. It's just a little bit bigger physically. But if that's not going to bother you, you can actually save a few bucks. And you're going to get the same image quality that I'm getting out of this camera. Anyways, if you stay this long, thank you for your time. If you guys want to support the channel, I am actually selling hoodies now. I'm going to show you the front right here. And I'll show you the back right here. I'll throw an image up. But if you want to support the channel, go ahead and go to my website and purchase one of these hoodies. And if you guys have any video ideas for me, go ahead and drop a comment or an Instagram DM. And go ahead and let me know what you guys want to see. I have been considering tutorials. Is there anything specific that you guys want to learn from me? Thank you and until next time. I don't condone spending crazy amounts of money on cameras, but I think I'm starting to understand. <laughs>